Hey, what's up? My name is Tyson Brown and I want to welcome you to Tyson's Fitness Test Podcast. This is Australia's top health and fitness podcast to help you lose weight, look good with your shirt off, feel confident in your body and finally achieve the goals you want with your health and fitness. So five days a week, I'm going to be giving you top information from myself and also from leading experts in the field so you know everything you need to do to get in the best shape of your life. From nutrition to mindset to workout, everything is covered in this podcast and you need to go nowhere else. So like I said, it's going to be five days a week, Monday to Friday, in your ears with quick actionable segments that you can implement straight away because the most important thing is you can put these things into play. Also, if you listen all the way to the end of the episode, you're going to get two special gifts that you can download upon listening to it. So make sure you listen all the way to the end to get those free gifts, okay? So let's get into the episode. Good morning. I'm doing another morning walk and I was like, you know what? It's time for a morning podcast. It's nice and quiet. I'm doing my morning walk, usually for about an hour. And I was like, well, instead of just walking around and listening to my iPod, if I walk the back streets where it's nice and quiet, I can probably get some podcast recording done. And so far, I think it's working pretty well. So, today's episode, what I want to talk to you about today is, I just had a mind blank. It's, (laughs) sorry. It is about cardio. Is cardio needed for fat loss? Do you need to do cardio? Because what I was doing during my cardio phase, I mean, during my fat loss phase for the last couple of weeks, is I was doing cardio every single morning. Now, it's not like a morning walk. It was like on the bike, as hard as I can. Not really as hard as I can, I'm not, that's a lie. Some mornings were as hard as I can when I did the assault bike. But in the morning, do the bike, ride the stationary bike for an hour. I would watch lectures, I would listen to music, I would be on Instagram talking to you. Basically, I would just be doing the the first hour of my morning, wake up, have a pre-workout, go and do some cardio. Then later on during the day, I would do some weights. And people were like, wow, you're doing so much, like, do I need to do that much to lose weight? And it's like, no, absolutely not. Like, you actually don't have to do any cardiovascular activity to lose weight. What matters most is how many calories you consume during the day, right? The biggest thing you need to focus on is your energy intake versus your energy output. If you eat more than you burn, you're not going to lose weight. If you eat less than you burn, you're going to lose weight. And the reason I do cardio is for a few reasons. For me, number one, cardio does increase the amount of calories I burn. Because I have that spare time, I can sit on the bike for an hour and do my cardio. But is this gonna work for everyone? No, because then everyone's gonna have an hour. Can you go for a walk instead? You sure can. But the only thing cardio does is it helps increase your, your energy output. And it's not by a huge amount. Like it really depends on the person. It really depends on how hard you go. And that's gonna be the biggest thing. Like, like it'll tell you you burned 600 calories, but you didn't burn 600 calories because the machines are an algorithm. The machines don't know your weight, your heart rate, your, your age, all those things that are gonna take that are gonna come into play. And so I was just giving you a guesstimation about how many calories you burned. So I might tell you you burned 800 calories, but you probably only burned 350. And it's funny because I've actually had my heart rate monitor on before, recorded my workout, shown people that my machine were telling me I burnt 1,200 calories on the assault bike and I burnt 700. It told me I burnt 500 calories more than I did. Now that's pretty shit because if you overestimate one of the 500 calories about how many calories you burnt and you're not losing weight, you're like, what the hell's going on? That is the issue, that is the problem. So I don't want you getting caught up in this mentality of thinking, oh my God, like I'm burning so many calories, like it must be great, because you're not. So, but it does help increase your cut, your output. So if you want to do cardio, yes, it's gonna help. It will increase the amount of calories you burn. But what a lot of people also do is they go and do cardio 
and then they have low activity for the rest of the day. They sit around, they don't move as much, and that's where the calorie, that's where you can actually balance out all those calories burnt. So let's say if you burnt an extra 400 calories on cardio in the morning, but then for the rest of the day you're pretty sedentary and you're sitting around, you're not moving much, then it's gonna equal out and you're not gonna actually burn that many extra calories. And that's what you have to be aware of too. So number one, it just helps burn more calories. Number two is that if you do hard cardio and then you find yourself sitting around, you're actually just gonna be burning the same amount of calories as normal. And then number three is like, if you don't want to do cardio, you don't have to, you just have to focus on being in a calorie deficit. That's the only difference, right? So if you can't get in a calorie deficit by using extra cardio, then you put yourself in a calorie deficit by eating more, uh, by eating less food. And it, it depends on like what you want to do. Do you have the time for cardio? Can you put in the effort? And if you can't, guess what? Just eat less food. That's all you have to do. Like you can save yourself 400 calories from food as opposed to trying to push yourself for another 400 calories of cardio. Because guess what? 400 calories of cardio is very hard. Like you have to put in a good amount of effort, like an hour. An hour of cardio is about 400 calories, right? Do you really want to put in an hour of effort of cardio when you can literally just take away 400 calories from your diet? Like literally, that's like one small meal. That means you do intermittent fasting, and you skip a meal and then you can keep your calories low. You've got running on the treadmill, going balls to the wall, or you've got taking away a meal. Now, if you're someone who's like, fuck that, I'd rather take away the meal, do it. Because if you can take away the meal and you can maintain your weight loss and you can start to lose weight, great. It really is that simple. So don't think that you have to do cardio. Don't think that's a must because it's really not. It's just helping you burn some extra calories. And if you do have the time and you want to put it in, great. Because obviously, cardio, cardio is good for your heart. Cardio is good for your lungs. Cardio is good for other things too. But it's only if you have the time to do cardio. It's only if you actually want to go and do the effort. If you're like, nah, fuck that. Like, I really don't want to put in another hour. Because you've always got to think about weight training too. You should never uh, tra not transition, what's it? replace weight training for cardio. Like, weight training is always going to be the best choice. And so when you have that choice to doing one or the other for a day, you should always do the weight training and then just cut back on the cardio. Or even better, like I said, don't even worry about cardio if you don't want to and then just focus on eating less food because 400 calories left, like skipping a meal, it's pretty simple. You skip a meal, you're good. And that's really, that's like, that's it. You just skip that meal and you get back to normal life. You do intermittent fasting. You do whatever you do, just skip a meal. And it's that simple. And it's not spending an extra hour of effort every day. But if you're like me and you want to do cardio, because number one, I actually enjoy doing cardio. I find it fun. Number two, I can listen to my lectures while I do cardio. Because one thing that I hate is just sitting down and watching lectures. So for me being able to do cardio, ride the stationary bike, get my heart rate up and listen to lectures helps me greatly and plus it's time for me to fuck around on social media talk to you guys on social media reply to dms make my posts do all those things i can do that while riding a stationary bike because i'm not pushing myself super hard i mean it's more than like just allegedly walk but it's so much more easier for me to get that stuff done while i'm doing my hour of cardio like i've got like a little ritual that i'll do to do that. And so, that's what I want you to think about. Like, what are you willing to sacrifice? Again, I've asked this question numerous times. Are you willing to sacrifice another hour in the gym to increase your cardio output, to burn some extra calories? Or, do you not have the time? And would you rather sacrifice some extra calories and just continue on with your day? Like, I've got a client, it's a he, and he eats 1,300 calories a day. And he does no exercise. He's still losing fat. He's like, you know what, Tyson? I'm extremely busy. I don't have time to exercise, but I need help with losing fat. I was like, cool. Let's work on your macronutrients. Let's work on your calories. And week by week, he's consistently losing fat because we've got him in a calorie deficit just from food. I don't even think he gets 10,000 steps a day. 
He probably gets like 3,000 if he's lucky, but he's losing fat because it all comes down to the energy, like I said. And whatever you're willing to do, you just do it. If you're like, yeah, okay, fine. I'm gonna do the calorie drop from the food. Great, I'm gonna skip a meal. Or I had the extra time to do cardio. Awesome, go and do cardio. But it's really up to you. So that's just my two cents. Me personally, I enjoy cardio. I enjoy burning some extra calories. And it gets me on a routine. But if you hate it, and every time you do cardio, you wanna shoot yourself, you're like, this is fucked. I'm not doing cardio. Then don't do it. Just stick to making sure you're in a calorie deficit, okay? And the way to figure out you're in a calorie deficit, it's pretty simple. Get your body weight in kilograms and multiply by 24. Once you've got that, you use an activity calculator. 1.2 is like sedentary, 1.3 is lightly active, 1.4 means you train about four to five times a week, 1.5 means you train six to seven times a week. So for most people, you're probably at 1.3 or 1.4. And it's always better to underestimate than to overestimate. So, you get your body weight in kilograms, multiply by 24 if you're a male, multiply by 22 if you're a female, and then multiply that by 1.3. That'll give you your answer to how many calories you need. Then from there, you take away 15%, and that'll be your answer. So then that means you can figure out how many calories you need. So I hope that was helpful. Give it a go. If you get stuck, you can always send me a DM to Tyson, the trainer with two R's on Instagram. And until next time, because the cars are starting to come out, I'll speak to you then. Hey, thanks for listening to the podcast. I really appreciate it. So now you've listened all the way to the end. That means you get some free goodies. So what you can do is you've got two different options or you can take them both. I've got an intermittent fasting cheat sheet and a high protein 20 recipe meal guide designed specifically for you in your situation. These meal plans and this intermittent fasting guide is designed to help you burn stubborn belly fat and get in the best shape of your life. So all you have to do, go to the show notes, click on the download link, and they'll get sent straight to your email address. It's as simple as that. They're completely free. They're going to help you transform your body. So go to the show notes now and download your free guides, and I'll speak to you in the next episode.